So in this example, given the simple circuit here, we know we do have a uh, independent uh, voltage source uh, here, 50 ohms, and then we have a voltage controlled dependent current source uh, right there. And so they're asking us first to determine the voltage drop VA0. So here is A and he is, here is zero. So that's basically the voltage drop across that resistor. And then they're asking us to find out what the power absorbed by this controlled source is. So two parts to this problem. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. So the first thing we want to do uh, is we'll look at the node A and we want to do a uh, current calculation and we're with the current leaving the node is positive. So if we do that, uh, the first thing we see is our dependent source. And so we can just write that when it's shown leaving the node as is. So that's just going to be 0 0.1 Vx. And then if we look uh, in the next direction, which would be this direction, then we see that uh, by Ohm's law, this will just be um, Va0, which is the voltage, over the resistance, which is 30. And then if we come and look in this branch leaving that node, we need the difference in the voltages divided by the resistance. So that will be um, VA0 minus 50. So that's our voltage. And then over our resistance of 40 ohms. And then we should be able to set all of this equal to zero. So now we want to make another quick observation. Um, and we'll do this off to the side here. Vx is defined right here. And so Vx is just going to be the difference between this node and this voltage supply, uh, independent, the independent voltage supply there. So if we can write that then as Vx is equal to um, Va0 minus 50. Va minus 50. So now we should be able to take that value or that expression and plug it in to where we have Vx, uh, which is right here. So then we can rewrite that then as uh, 0 0.1 times Va0 minus 50 plus 1 over 30 times Va0 plus 1 over 40 times VA0 minus 50 equals to 0. And so now we have one equation, one unknown. Um, we can work this out then. Uh, if you saw for VA0 here, again, just a simple algebra problem. We should come up with 39.475 volts. So that's our voltage drop VA0. So this is the first thing they asked for right here. They asked for that right there. <clears throat> so now the second part of what they've asked for is what is the power absorbed by our controlled source? So that's this guy right here. So to do that, uh, remember, we recall that P is equal to V times I. So we need to determine both of those for our current source. So uh, solving for the current, um, we will have, so our, excuse me, so our current for our current source, then it would just be uh, 
0.1 Vx, right? Well, we know Vx, we can calculate Vx from up here. Uh, that's going to be 0 0.1 times Va0 minus 50. Well, we found Va0 right there, so we can plug it in. So that is 0 0.1 times 39.7, excuse me, 0.475 minus 50. And when we calculate that out, it's going to be negative 1.0525 amps. So there's our current. So now we want to do a KVL equation, do a loop voltage equation. And we're going to do it around this loop here. And we're going to start at zero. So when we do that, um, going from zero to A, we already know is that's VA zero or the negative of it. So uh, we'll have uh, minus 39.475. Again, that's minus VA zero. And then as we come around, we'll hit the 20 ohm resistor. So we can just write this out. Maybe this will help people see. It'll be minus VA0, so starting here, going this way, and then going to the 20 ohm resistor, that's going to be plus 20 times I in, uh, of our current source, actually, because the same current's going through that resistor, and then it's going to be plus uh, the voltage across our current source. That's got it all equal to zero. So this is minus 39.475 plus 20 times, we found the current right here. So it's negative 1.0525 plus V of our current source equal to zero. So now we have one equation, one unknown. And when we solve for V of our current source, we should get 60. 0.525. So now, coming back to our power, the power of our current source uh, is going to be equal to V times I, and so that's going to be 60.525 times the current, which we again found right here, which will be 1 .0, negative 1.0525. And when we multiply that out, we should get negative 63.703 watts. So this is the power that is absorbed. So it's negative, so that's showing that it's absorbed by the, our current source. So again, voltage drop across the uh, A0, first thing they asked for, and then the power absorbed by our dependent current source. 63 point negative 63.703